Remember when in the last season in Game of Thrones they left a Starbucks cup in one of the scenes? No? Well, in case you missed it, they did. Look. Now, clearly this was a mistake because for a VFX professional, it's a very easy task to remove something like this. For an average user, it may sound more complicated. Now, I'm here to tell you in this video that it's not and even you could do it. So removing object from an image is one thing. We've made videos about it recently where we removed people from travel photos, for instance. But the reason that's easier is because it's only one image. In the case of a video, you'd have to track your mask or clean plate to every frame or paint the object out frame by frame. Some high-end editing software have features for content-aware object removal, but those software are very pricey. Now, following a new update in the Unit Converter, now it's possible to convert a video to an image sequence. Uh, so why is that good for us? Well, exactly because of VFX purposes, for example, where you have to do work frame by frame. And with the image sequence conversion, that's exactly what we get. The sequence of all of the frames in the video as still images. And like we just talked about it before, doing object removal on a single image is much easier. So here is what we're gonna do. We'll convert a video clip to an image sequence. Then we'll remove the object from the images. And then we're going to convert the image sequence back into a video. And I'm going to demonstrate it on the Starbucks cup clip. So before we get into it, be sure to download the Unit Converter from videoconverter.wondershare.com. All right, let's get to work. Open the Converter tool from the main interface, then import your video clip. This scene is obviously very short, not even three seconds, but VFX clips are often like that. Next, go to the Format settings and here select PNG Image Sequence. Choose same as source for the resolution, choose an output folder and then click on convert all. Your video will be converted into an image sequence within a separate folder. Ok, now that we have our image sequence, let's import all of them into the watermark remover AI. Be sure to switch to the image watermark removal tab up here. You can import up to 100 images here for batch removal which is very convenient especially that I only have 52 of them. Okay, now let's zoom in on this cup here. Then with the brush tool, let's draw over it. There, now it's selected. And here comes the part where you might spend a few minutes because now we have to select the cup in all of the images. Now alternatively, we could click on apply to all. But since there is a bit of a camera movement in the clip, it wouldn't be accurate, which then would have to fix. So it's actually smarter to just go image by image and selecting the cup. It literally just takes one stroke. Naturally, if there is no camera movement, apply tool will work fine. So let me go through all of the images. Now, when you're done, choose an output folder. It's better to choose a new one to avoid mixing the images and then click on export. To turn this new image sequence back to a video, alternatively, you can use a regular video editing software or use the Unit Converter method, where we first have to convert these into GIFs and then the GIFs to the video. So first, open the GIF Maker tool in the Unit Converter. This unfortunately only allows us to import 20 images at a time, but that's all right. We'll work our way around it. So import the first 20 images. They will be in order, so you don't have to worry about that. Then, very important, choose the frame rate to be the original of your clip, 24 in our case. Then the resolution can stay the same. And then repeat the process until you get to the end of your image sequence. Next, import these GIFs into the converter tool, in the right order, of course. Choose your output format to be MP4, for instance. And then make sure that the merge all box is checked and then just click on convert all. Okay, it's finished. Let's see the result. And the Starbucks cup is gone as if it has never even been there. So with this method, you can easily remove objects from short clips without having to know anything about VFX. All right, that was it for today. I hope this video was useful. And if so, be sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a like. 
Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.